आज कैसे कर रहे हो भाई बहन हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं लास वेगस के बारे में यस लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई थिंक आई फिल्टर आउट नफ द पीपल दैट क्लिकड ऑन दिस वीडियो दे आर लाइक ओह इट्स एन इंग्लिश टाइटल ही इज स्पीकिंग मून रूम्स इन द बिगिनिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन लास वेगस इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट सिटीज इन द वर्ल्ड um you know when you want to talk about crackheads gamblers you know uh, nightlife fun carrot top las vegas comes to my mind okay truly it's a city that's not too big but it's just a city that has like lights upon lights you ever see like somebody who's if you ever went back 100 years and you told them what they think the future looks like you're not getting anything better than las vegas some of you in the comments might be like but you know what about tokyo tokyo looks nice but see tokyo's too like professional Las Vegas is like tacky as hell ladies and gentlemen you know what they finally created something that nobody asked for literally nobody by the way this ladies and gentlemen is now the largest sphere in the world you might be like whoa they made an american flag no 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 buckos hold on this is a fully led programmable sphere in vegas <laughs> Yeah, you might be wondering why. Now, as a PC gamer, as just a gamer in general, RGB is pretty much synonymous with like the Bible for gamers. So, uh I kind of thought it was like that at first. I thought this maybe this was just like, you know, your standard like light, uh, you know, light up globe if you will, which would still be impressive. No, no, no. This is like a fully programmable like LED billboard screen whatever you want to call it. Some have been putting jack-o-lanterns on there. Some of them have been putting like this alien communication device. the portal to uh the portal the portal to hell or or at least like the little mermaid's world and then of course the moon imagine driving down las vegas one day and then you just look to the left and the moon is literally this close to you that's what this does ladies and gentlemen every single one of these scenes is a banger now for somebody who's like there's no way this can be real i'm not joking this is not cgi footage ladies and gentlemen that's actually Dude's driving around Vegas with the spinning globe. <laughs> could you could you flat earth this beware? <laughs> Literally got debunked. Without a doubt, I honestly thought for the last couple days this was CGI until like last night before I hit the hay. I was like, "You know what? Let me look up Las Vegas fear." Boy, I wasn't kidding. It's actually there. It is in fact the Las Vegas fear. It's the newest part of their skyline. In fact, the website right over here, Postcard from Earth begins this fall. Now, to understand, uh I think if uh people wonder why aliens crash land in Nevada all the time, what other city has a goddamn programmable video sphere, the largest one of all things? There's no way. They just got shows here. Well, how much are the shows? $69 to 199. No thanks. I'll sit out by the CVS pharmacy and watch for zero. How about that? zero and a couple of road beers cuz drinking out in public in Vegas is uh, is legal all right i mean it has to be now don't get me wrong no uh no video sphere is complete without its controversy for instance this is like what the sphere looks like when it's powered down because it literally is just like led screens that are like placed together working in unison um kind of like something you'd see at times square on like crack so of course uh, yeah the world is burning to the ground and our climate is fucked and everyone is poor now and we're all dying but look at this 2.4 billion dollar ball we made yeah this is actually an over 2 billion dollar project you think led screens were cheap what the what's wrong with you come on now 2.4 billion dollars apparently seems to be spent on it and i'll be honest I don't care, all right, because I want to see a video ball, ladies and gentlemen. God damn, because a video ball allows us to see an actual Windows 98 blue screen reflected across the Vegas skyline. Imagine flying in. Imagine being an alien. Imagine being from space, and you look down and you see a Windows 98 tier blue screen hit right back at you. This is something only a tier five civilization like ours is able to accomplish. And like what was so wild about it too is like this is why I thought it was CGI. Literally the cars are driving around and like it opens up the ball to like the little mermaid house. Like it actually is just video all the way around. And if you look at the actual size of it, yes, it is in fact the largest fear known to man. Like those are cars by scale in comparison, just driving by. Imagine living in this city. You got to look outside every day and see this shit light up around you. You know, people are often wondering, what about like drone advertisement? You know, advertisement in the sky. 
Las Vegas res Vegas residents literally have a giant LED testicle every night to look at. <laughs> and it gets wild, man. There's a couple other shots too. Like also imagine that you've been drinking in Vegas, all right? You gambled away like a thousand dollars. You're about to regret it in the morning. And suddenly this goddamn eyeball is staring right back at you. That is enough to make anybody crap themselves uncontrollably. If I saw that driving down the city, I think I might actually like faint. No joke, no shot about it. I would faint on the highway. This is actually a, uh, a, a road disaster waiting to happen. Like, just imagine if, like, all you had was just, like, this lit up, like, uh, like, like, uh, like, skin, and then the eyeball opened as you were driving. That could, that, that, that would actually send me into a heart attack, no joke. So, again, the moon is pretty common. Just driving down on the highway is enough for people to look at the moon just right at them, like a blood moon, so to speak. And then, of course, let's not forget, if you guys like snow globes, you know, the little things you pick up at, like, the trinket store? God, I'm old. The trinket, the Hobby Lobby? Ladies and gentlemen, we made a $2.4 billion snow globe. <laughs> and, and you know this is powered by like the crazy expensive NVIDIA video, video wall like GPUs. It's insanity, bro. Look at that. It's the whole casino right there. Look at the size of the parking structure next to the actual sphere. It's insanity, bro. And you know what's wild about it too? Like I didn't even think this was under construction because like... Nobody really thinks of what's going on in Vegas. Like I know there's channels on YouTube, no joke. There's like the, there's like theme park reviewers. I'm not even kidding with you. There are like legit channels that are like first time, like they're actually reviewing and analyzing Disneyland. So there's people that like go to theme parks and just like literally like analyze when they're developing something and start like conspiracy theories about that. But nobody does it for like Las Vegas. Oh, hell no. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a big giant LED sphere now. And you know who made it? <laughs> Vegas, because why not? Not New York, not Toronto, not Tokyo, not Los Angeles, not London, even though I think they're actually gonna make this on like London too. But right now, it's those goddamn gambling addicts from Vegas who decided to put up another, <laughs> I don't even wanna call it an eyesore because compared to the rest of this shit, it's just glorious to look at. Here, I got like a shot of the eyeball right here. Look, just look at how scary it gets. It's actually pulsing. It's fucking creepy, bro. <laughs> oh my God, I would crap myself. I would actually crap myself, no joke. Apparently people can go inside this thing too, which, uh, whew. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, I know that they've worked against hacking this thing. I think the team even behind this said that this is supposed to be unhackable. But I'm going to put my bets up, ladies and gentlemen. How long do you think it's going to take before we eventually have Goatsy all across the Vegas skyline? <laughs> I can't wait until there's a sprawled anus. <laughs> a prolapse to one, too. Anyways, this is me, Mudahar. And uh, yeah, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I know why the aliens are attacking Vegas, bro. They're the wildest human beings. I am out.